We see with Asia um, both uh, unique challenges and also a significant opportunity. Often when people talk about Asia, they talk about it as a homogenized market. We know that to be very different. Uh, we have geographical issues we need to overcome. We have um, the variety of countries, the linguistic challenges, and different jurisdictions that we need to traverse, as well as very different regulatory issues, country by country. And uh, if you compare that with the US, which is obviously one homogenized region, or the EU, which is centrally regulated, that presents a whole host of different challenges to those that we've had to overcome historically. Again, across the region, you see different levels of technology adoption. Uh, within the big four, obviously, there's more maturity in terms of the way they operate. But then you compare that with the rest of the region, again, very diff different challenges, or a very different set of challenges. And traditionally, in region, um, you know, fundamental requirements, such as the bandwidth itself, the connectivity, the hosting, has also historically been at a higher level, a higher cost level, which has slowed down, I think, some of the um, trends that we've seen occurring very rapidly in the other regions.